All right, so I'm out here in Minnesota with my friends from the house. Did you learn about hot dish last night? We learned about hot dish a little bit. Garrett is just one of those weird skiers that you never really know what he's gonna do and every once in a while, he just pulls something out of his ass that's just like, holy crap, how do you do that trick? Hello, Garrett. Good afternoon, Patrick. <laughs> Where are we right now? We're at Wild Mountain outside of Taylor's Falls, where Taylor Swift grew up. We were hiking rails and skiing extreme toe laps. Over the last eight or nine years, we've been skiing with Garrett on and off. He definitely has been an inspiration to us. We looked up to him, um, started watching some of his videos, and he's like, this guy is awesome. And now we're here in uh, Minnesota in November skiing with them. Missing his Japan grab right there, but you know, maybe he'll come around and get it. Come on, Garrett. No, I can't even do my grab instead of pressure. I know, there's a lot of pressure right now. Garrett folding under the pressure, the massive amount of pressure. <laughs> All right, here comes Garrett again. Garrett Russell going in, trying to nail this awesome Japan grab to gap. Oh! Garrett! I do think the features here at uh, Wild Cater to the Traveling Circus is funky style, my, my style. Traveling circus, these guys are a lot of fun, really creative guys. Some tricks that I wouldn't even think about. Fun to be around, they don't really quit. Good time, having fun. I think it is interesting for people to see how much work goes into getting a shot. Will Wesson is a classic example of watching someone diligently trying over and over and over and over again for hours on one small feature. Um, I try to keep up with that. The feature sticks out to apparently Shane and Will as well that they really wanted me to get was this wall ride to ledge. I was hoping to do a hand drag 360 to lock my foot in on a ledge and 180 out and I couldn't really ever get my foot in the ledge. And so Will, a mastermind as he is, will always, he's reminded me to think of if I was at this feature and it was the last time I get to hit this feature, what are all the things I want to do on it before before it's gone. I try, try to do that, but I'm not well. I ski better when I have fun. I have a lot more fun in my style when I'm having fun, so that pressure is, it's there for a second every now and then, and I just have to shun it away. Shun it away. It was just cool getting on snow, trying to throw my meat towards rails and land, land things, but sometimes it doesn't work out. That look back and the, the smile with your friends and that, I like to call it the hand of God. There's a moment where you're, you're no longer thinking, it's everything and your body is moving. Even the mountain around you, you notice the snow and like the rocks and it's, it's powerful. And then you get out of it and you kind of just I personally reflect like, what the hell just happened? Where, where was I? I wasn't even there. I wasn't even human for that moment in time. It's the supernatural. It's a feeling I feel like all humans want. Keep it real. 
St. Paul, Minnesota, Minneapolis. Check you later, Cub Scout. Ha, 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 ha.